about other people plugging in and you're paying up. President Obama again today pushing those electric cars. Uh, but even if you don't buy one, you could have to pay for other people who do. The car coach, Lauren Fix, here to explain. How does that work out, Lauren? Well, it looks like uh, we, we're going to probably pay for it in taxes. Someone's got to pay for this infrastructure. The same thing was true way back when, when gasoline stations came up. Someone had to pay for it. Yes, there'll be some private support, but don't worry. There'll be a tax somewhere in there and an energy policy or something to help support funding of all these electric stations that are going to have to be put up to make right. consumers we should happy. Right. We should just explain what's going on here is the number of utilities across the country indicating that the demand uh, for this sort of plug-in car and, and across the board has, has risen so rapidly that they're going to have to raise rates to keep up with that demand. So even if you don't have a car to plug in, um, you'll be plugged into higher bills. Uh, how big, how right. bad will this get? That we don't know. It looks like it's going to cost between ten, around $10,000 for each station. So now what they're talking about, if cap and trade passes and everything, is that private businesses will have to have that for their employees, assuming that consumers purchase them. But it's almost like a handicap spot. You have to have it. So if you have to have it, it's going to cost somebody something somewhere along the lines. And that will be you, the consumer. Even if you live in New York and you don't own a car, they're going to get you in some tax or another. And by the way, even if they never build a single station, I mean, just the demand for people plugging it in uh, to their garage at home or wherever, it's, it's going to add up. So, so what does this now mean for the future of this technology? Is it going to make a difference for the demand or are people just going to say, well, that's the price of progress, whatever? Well, first off, we, did, we don't even know if consumers want this. There was just a three-day summit that was in Michigan talking about electric cars. Uh, the first car coming to market is the Nissan Leaf. You're going to see that announced in November. They're actually going to be testing it and let people driving it. If there's no fun factor involved, they're going to have a heck of a time trying to sell these cars. And that's going to be one of the biggest things that we have to consider. If no one buys the cars and the infrastructure is there, you're paying for something no one's going to use. And again, that's a tax that we'll have to do because the government is requiring that of us. So we have to decide, you know, you put the cart before the horse. Do we build the cars and people don't want them or do we build the stations and there are no cars? I and mean, we don't know. People say they want them, but are they willing to pay that extra money? And that we don't know. All right. The argument is they always would be uh, if oil and gas prices got to the point where, where they almost had to. So let's say oil continues spiky. It's been all over the map, but still in and around 80 bucks a barrel. And most expect a gallon of gasoline to soar as well, that the demand will rise. Do you, do you expect the same? Well, the demand point seems to be somewhere around 450 a gallon. And we found that true the last time gas prices were high. When they reach around $4 a gallon, people either sell their cars, they look for more fuel efficient cars, they look for alternative methods of transportation. So if for some reason the government is able to impose a tax on gasoline, so, sort of pushing us toward electric cars, you will find people looking for electric cars. They'll be looking for hybrid options. Um, apparently, we're going to go back to, like I've been saying all along, to hydrogen, which we have a lot of money invested in, wow. as well as ethanol. So there will be multiple solutions, but people will be looking for them if the price of gasoline rises. Wild stuff. Lauren, thank you very much. Lauren Fix, good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.